Hi, second graders. Today is another Friday asynchronous learning day, and I'm going to be reading you your Friday schedule. All right. So always remember you press turn in when you are finished. And as I read, I want you to pause the video after each section, go do your job, and then come back to the video and keep listening. Okay. So Friday asynchronous learning student schedule. On Friday, students will log in and meet at 8.05, just like we do every other day of the week. After attendance, you will be asked to log off the meet and beginning your, begin your learning day independently. Listen to directions. Click here. Asynchronous. Students complete work on their own with assistance from family without face-to-face -face instruction from their teachers. Or try this. Students that work with ESL teachers Mrs. Gusha or Ms. McHugh can complete this option instead, the purple option. 8.05 to 8.20. Attendance is taken at 8.05. Arrival and attendance. Log into Google Meet at 8.05 for attendance and morning updates. What was your favorite part of the week? Independent morning work. 8.05 to 11 a.m. Start your day. Click here to begin your day with some positive affirmations. Read aloud. Your job. Listen to this read aloud from Mrs. Adorno. The Amazing Seahorse. Click on link. Your job. Answer these questions. What is a seahorse? How is a seahorse similar to other animals? What are some things that make a seahorse different from other animals? What new information did you find most surprising? Or try this. Review this video about compare and contrast. Listen to The Amazing Seahorse. Fill in the blank. A seahorse is similar to a, because, word bank. Monkey, armadillo, kangaroo, octopus, chameleon, anteater, horse. Now pause the video and go do your read aloud jobs. Writing, your job. Listen to this book from Mrs. Adorno, Night of the Veggie Monster. Your job. Write a small moment story. Step one, take out your black journal, a pencil, and crayons. Step two, think of an idea, touch and tell, and sketch across the pages. Remember to unfreeze your characters, tell your story in small steps, and bring out the inside. Step three, last, write your story. Sentence starters to help. One time, this week I, word bank, first, Next, then, last. Step four, reread your writing. Check for capital letters and punctuation. Did you do your best work? Can you add more detail? Send a picture of your small moment writing to your teacher when you are finished through Class Dojo or text through Google Voice. Now pause the video and go do your writing jobs. Lexia, please complete 15 minutes on Lexia. Access Lexia through Clever. Pause the video and go do Lexia. Reading, your job. Watch this video on sequencing important events in a story. Your job, set a timer and read for 20 minutes. You can choose a book you have at home or click on the link below to choose a story and listen online. First, list all the books that you read. Next, pick one book and identify the genre, fiction versus nonfiction, of your story. Review. Fiction versus nonfiction from Miss Braden. The genre of my book was... Or try this. Imagine learning for 20 minutes. You find that on Clever. All right. All right, and then next we have this poem, Ice Cream, to the tune of Farmer in the Dell, which you can look up on YouTube. Ice cream in a bowl, ice cream in a cone, ice cream any way I want, as long as it's my own. Ice cream can be sticky, ice cream can be sweet, ice cream is delicious, it's my favorite treat. Like I said, you can look that up, you might find a better version or you might be able to sing it even better than I can. Your job. Practice reading that poem with fluency. 
Remember, when we read with fluency, we read with expression. We do not read like a robot. Step one, ask a family member to read the poem to you. Step two, read the poem together. Step three, read the poem to yourself. Your job. This poem made me think about, or try this. Draw a picture of what this poem reminds you of. Talk about your picture with someone in your family. Sentence starters. This poem reminds me of, one time I, now pause the video and go do all of your reading jobs and then have lunch and recess from 11 to 12. Make sure you take a screen break. Independent afternoon activities, 12 to 2.15 p.m. Log into Clever and click on ST Math. Please complete 20 minutes of ST Math. Your job, set a timer and spend 20 minutes practicing ST Math. Pause this video now and go do your ST Math. Then, when you come back, you should already be done with your ST Math by now. Your job, review this video about part part whole with Miss Co. Your job, complete the following using cubes and number bonds. Fill in the missing part or whole for each number story. One, Mrs. Adorno has 10 Skittles. She gives seven of them to Mrs. Girardi. How many Skittles does Mrs. Adorno have now? Number two, Amy has four pencils. Miss Co gives her five more. How many does Amy have now? Three, Miss Braden has six flowers. Mrs. Co has three flowers. How many more flowers does Miss Braden have than Miss Co? Pause the video and go do all of your math work. Remember, you have four, five, six, and seven to do as well. Science and social studies. Your job. Watch this video about Veterans Day. Why was there no school on Wednesday? What is a veteran? A veteran is an example of a hero. Who is your hero? Why? Or try this. Listen to this song. Veterans are heroes. Think about how you can be a hero by helping someone. Draw a picture of how you can help someone. Once you are all done with your science and social studies work, you can click submit or turn in. Make sure all of your assignments get turned in on Google Classroom or get sent to your teacher on Google Voice or Google Text or Class Dojo. You are all done for the day. Have a great weekend, second graders.